said on last episode, no, I'm not talking about Duke, North Carolina. I'm not talking about the NBA All-Star Game. I'm not even talking about one of those obscure sports like badminton. No, I'm just kidding. Badminton's actually kind of cool. I'm talking about the TNS March Madness 2K Sim Bracket featuring Los Gatos, the Wildcats of Kentucky, the four seed versus one seed in the East, the Dayton Flyers, led by Wooden Player of the Year Award winner, O.V. Toppin. Folks, for anybody that's new here, my name is Landon Carrico. I'm part of the Neutral site. I, uh, the Neutral site is a Big Heads Media podcast. You can find us on Twitter at Neutral Site Show, capital N, capital S, capital S. Also, check out our work, work with Hutch and Huber, at Hutch and Huber, both capital H's. They've been doing an amazing job over here, and we're happy to be doing the show with them. Uh, this is another Sweet 16 matchup, our second matchup in the East. Duke beat Oklahoma earlier today uh, in what was a heck of a matchup. Uh, Duke comfortably won, but it was a 78-68 to win. And for this one, I'm going to go along those lines as well. I'm going to put my Kentucky Homer homerism away. Um, I will go ahead and take Dayton here. Let's go. Let's go seven. Eh, let's go eighty-one to seventy-three. That sounds about right. Should be a good one. I'm interested to see the Ob Toppin. Nick Richards matchup, but uh, hey, we'll see how this one goes. Should be should be interesting. Really don't care to answer that. Sorry. UK and the blue checkerboards. If any of UK fans are watching, I'm curious what the opinions are on the blue checkerboard uh, jerseys. I know a lot of people can't stand Mitch's uh, decision on the checkerboards. And Obi Toppin wins the tip. As Crutcher tries to get past Ashton and Hagens. Can I do it with five on the shot clock? Obi Toppin to Chapman for the pull up three. No good. Out to Hagens. Hagens drives. Out to Richards. Richards out to Maxi for the open three. No good. Rebound out to Landers. Chapman with the jumper. Got it. Dayton up ahead. Hagens out to Richards. Richards out to Maxi. Richards gives him a pick. Maxi tries to split the double team. He does. Out to Richards with the layup, and he gets it to go. UK led by first round, probably guaranteed top 10 pick, Tyrese Maxey, as well as Nick Richards and Emmanuel. Quickly as EJ Montgomery fouls Mike Sell for the layup. Dayton led by Anthony Grant. Been a, uh, well, to say a dominant team this year would be an understatement. They're 29-2 and two going into this tournament. 31-2 and two now. Led by Player of the Year, Obi Toppin. And just Anthony Grant's done an amazing job with them. Say what you want is... Kick it back out to Emmanuel quickly. Say what you want about Anthony Grant. 
uh, at a big program at Alabama. I'm not sold that his success at Dayton will translate. We've seen that with Archie, just because it's a little bit harder. Um, but props to Anthony Grant. He's done a great job with this team. Obi top in posters, Nick Richards. Oh, that hurts to say, but it's so true. Nick Richards put on a poster. Oh my gosh. There's a reason he's player of the year, folks. Dating up 7-2 on the Cats. Richards out to Maxi. Maxi drives. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound out to Landers. Dayton's running with it. Crutcher out to Chapman. Chapman goes up with a layup, can't get it to go, and he gets his own rebound in the sea of blue. Crutcher with a pull-up three, no good. Rebound out to Nick Richards. Cats running with it. Emmanuel quickly. SEC Player of the Year. Tries to drive, can't get anybody to pass out to Richards with the one-handed slam. Nick Richards really taking the leap from years one and two to three. It'll be interesting to see if he comes back. I think he's gone, um, especially considering his girlfriend, who's one of the most decorated players uh, in UK athletics, as Nick Richards just murders. Oh, a flagrant one on Nick Richards. Well, that's rare. But um, seeing that his girlfriend, volleyball player, one of the most decorated athletes in UK history, is uh, is about to, or is graduating, I would imagine he'll be graduate or he'll leave as well. Um, but thank you, Nick. Great year coming from a UK fan here. I would love to see you back, but at this rate, it's looking like Matt Harms, which I know Griffin's about to puke in his mouth after hearing. Chapman with the pull-up three, no good. Rebound out to EJ. Speaking of people that may or may not come back, EJ, please come back. <laughs> Dude, don't don't make the same Briscoe mistake. Is Maxi out to quickly at the top of the key? Two Richards. Richards out to Maxi, and we get an illegal screen on Ashton Hagens. Mike Sell with a tough mid-range. And then we'll get another rebound, offensive rebound for Dayton. Calipari would probably put Brennan Cannon. No, I'm just kidding. It would probably never come to that. Five on the shot clock. Chapman with the open three. Can't get it to go. The tough rebound out by Nick Richards. I can't get past the hair, man. Nick Richards has never had a flat top like that. <laughs> Quickly out to Maxi. Maxi. Try and get something going with 10 on the shot clock. Out to Ashton Hagens. Hagens with a very odd three-point animation, which in real life he would never take. Mike Sell to Chapman. Chapman trying to get something going. Drives on Maxi, puts up a layup, scoop shot, no good. And Maxi's running with it. Out to Hagens with a pull-up three. No good. EJ had it, but it's ripped away from him. Rodney Chapman already one for seven from the field today. Mike Sell. Not to be confused with Mike Sell's the chip brand, but he gets it down the top end. As Dayton leads 10-4. Really putting on a defensive clinic right now on the Cats. Out to quickly. I need to get quickly going. Hagens and Maxi shooting threes is not the route that they want to take. Out to quickly. Quickly. Loses the ball and it's picked off by Landers. Land oh, they tried to go up with the oop. Nick Richards blocks it. Cats are running. Hagens out in front of the field. He drives the layup. No good, but he's fouled by Chapman on the play. That's Chapman's first. Say what you want about Ashton Hagens and all the drama that happened this year. 
Ashton was one of the best defensive players in the country, finalist for the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year Award. And uh, defensively, his presence will be missed. If there are any UK fans listening, I'd love to hear your comments on your expectations for Devin Askew. I personally think he is going to exceed expectations. This guy, a lot of people say Andrew Harrison's a good comparison for him. I agree. I think he's a better shooter than Nate Sestina. Swats that one out of the building. Um, but I, I think Devin Askew is going to surprise some people. This guy is a, he's just a hard-fought competitor. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I, I really am looking forward to that matchup between him and Carly Jones. I think Carly Jones is more talented, but if Nate Sestina hacks, who was that, 35 on for Dayton. I think Carly Jones is more talented. Um, but with that being said, uh, I am really excited to see Devin Askew play. It's it's very exciting. Keon Brooks checks in the game, as does ah, new UCLA commit Johnny Jazang gets his own rebound in the putback. Johnny Jazang just transferred to UCLA. For any folks who did not see this, <clears throat> Jazang from the California area was a former five-star recruit who reclassified. Had, a, had an okay year for the Cats, uh, given his minutes. Uh, defense is definitely an area of improvement to work on. Uh, and Mick Cronin demands a lot of defense out of his players, so we'll see how he works out in that system. As Cody wants to throw one up, no good in the rebound out to Jazang. Out to Hagens. Hagens with another weird three animation. Just pull up with it, man. <laughs> Nobody takes that shot. Is Watson with another pull. And he hits it, so I guess Watson... Good old IBM there is hitting the hitting those shots. Offensive rebounds are what are separating this four-point lead. Kentucky not with many. Jazane gets an open three. No good. Rebound out to Chase Johnson. Trevor Cohill running with it. Puts Jazane in a spin move. Can't get it to go. Looked like it was down. Jazane though with a tough defense. Hagen's running with it. Brooks out to Hagens with another three. Sestina with the rebound and the putback. This game is just going to completely nuke the heck out of Ashton Hagens' threes, and I'm here for it. <clears throat> Johnson drives. Sestina with the block. Cats are out and running with it. Hagens with nothing but daylight. What the layup? Can't get it to go. He missed it short. Might have been blocked by Cohill. And Brooks out with the with the steal. Nothing but daylight ahead of him. Gets the layup. Looked like he was fouled from, from behind. But UK ties this game up at 12-12. Dayton really needs Obi Toppin back in this game. <laughs> and another pickpocket, Keon Brooks. Hagen's running with it. Brooks with the fast break and the emphatic slam. We got headband Keon, too. Not normal Keon. That's extra emphasis right there. Cohill with the open three, and he got it. Cohill, backup point guard for the Flyers. Really been reliable in spot minutes this year. Speaking of spot minutes, Sestina out at the left wing. Two Ashton Higgins. And I don't know what that was, but Juan Matos just decided to shove Keon Brooks for no better reason than, eh, why not? So we got an intentional foul there. As Keon cannot hit the first. And the only. Keon Brooks drives with the layup. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Nick Richards. UK resets. Jazang trying to find a shot. Gets open for a three. Bullseye! UK takes the lead. 17-15. Looks like it was a long two. instead. No, it was a three. 
Dayton's going to get the last shot here. Watson drives nothing but daylight in front of him with the dunk. And folks, it looks like we've got a heck of a game on our hands. This is what we love to see. Dayton and UK after the first 10 minutes tied at 19 apiece. Or my mistake, 17 apiece. At this rate though, it'll probably be 19 apiece. And for some god-awful reason, Nate Sistine is running the point. Dear Lord, cover my eyes. I don't want to see this. <laughs> he drives, gets the lamp to go, though, so screw you, Landon, he says. Perfect. Watson drives on Jazang, gets a layup that will not go. And Keon with the flush! Little Hugh Jackman with that shot because he flushed it away. Sorry, folks. I hope you come to this show realizing I will make pop culture references on the daily. This is Cole Hill <clears throat> out at the free throw line. Out to Juan Meadows. That was with the pull-up jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Chase Johnson who goes up and he's fouled by Johnny Jazang. Johnson can't get either to go. Quickly out front of the pack with the layup. Can't get it to go. It's blocked, but he's fouled by Watson. Quickly. Over 90% shooter from three. That's definitely going to go. And gets the second. Cats out ahead, 23 to 17. Obi Toppin checks back into the game for the Flyers. Cohill drives. Watson out for three. Money! What a shot there by Watson to make this a one possession game. With 8.27 left to go in the first half. It's quickly drives, throws one up over Toppin. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Toppin. Watson drives on quickly. Brooks goes to block it, disrupts it, and he gets the rebound. Out to quickly with the open three. Oh, that one's out. Unfortunately. Mike Sell out to a cutting. Cohill might have been tipped by Jazang. Cohill misses. Jazang out with numbers. Out to Keon Brooks for three. No good. A rebound out to Mike Sell. Out to a cutting Cohill. Can't get that to go with the rebound. Out to Chase Johnson in the foul on Nick Richards. That's his second. You want to know how this isn't a 2K sim or how this is an actual game? Because Nick Richards would have had two like five minutes ago. But I'm not complaining. I love it. EJ Montgomery with the rebound. Out to Maxi To Jazang. Maxi back at the top. Rolls off. The weird animation three. No good. And the long rebound out to Chase Johnson. For the Flyers. Mike Sell. Out to Crutcher. Which sounds like that would be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain name, but it's not somehow. Chapman. Sestina picks him up. He's got three on the shot clock. He's got four swing up. Can't drive around Sestina. The pull-up jumper, no good. Great defense by the Cats. Leads to an offensive possession as Jazang's running with it. Drives with the layup. And it's pickpocketed. Flyers out running with it. Mike Sell. With the crossover to Crutcher. Out to an open Chapman. Does not take it. Takes the pick from Chase Johnson. Chapman tries to put EJ in the blender. And he gets Munker. Oh. It looks like Obi Toppin with the foul.
We got a three. Or no, I was, was that a two? I think that was a two. I'm sorry, folks. I got ahead of myself there seeing things. Oh, and I got to reach in on Johnny Jazang with a little shove after the play. It's getting a little chippy here in this Sweet 16 mat East matchup. Landers drives on EJ, not even close. Maxi out to a cutting EJ Montgomery who goes up with the layup and gets it. Mike Sell takes the pick from Toppin. Dayton not doing a real good job of getting it to, oh, I don't know, the National Player of the Year in Obi Toppin. Instead of getting it out to Flanders' cousin Landers. Because he can't get it to go. Speaking of Landers, Christian Landers is going to be good. Mark my words. Very excited about him. And I know I probably just lost my UK card for saying that, but he's going to be good. EJ Montgomery. With the baby hook. Can't get it to go. Griffin would have hit it. Landers. With the tough layup. Down to a four-point game. Kentucky leads 27-23 with five minutes to go in the first half. Jazang loses it, but Nate Sestina picks it up. Seven left on the shot clock. Steen out to Maxi. Maxi with the pull up three. No good. Rebound out to Mike Sell. Crutcher. The most 90s villain name I've ever heard. <laughs> Mike Sell drives on EJ. Puts up a runner. Can't get it to go. Put the rebound out to top end. And EJ picks up his second as Obi. Heads to the line. And he cannot hit the first. But he gets the second. One possession ball game. 27-24 Cats with 420 left in the first half. Quickly with the three. Nothing but net. You put the ball in the hoop and then you shake it up. Six point game for the Cats. Maxi with the steal. Out running with it. Maxi drives and he's hacked by Chapman. Looks like we got a comment section comment. Let's read these real quick. Let's go BBN. Thank you, Trey. Cleo Whitney, NBA bound baby. Yeah. Nate for president. That'd be cool with that. And Jacob Carrico. Watched Christian Lander when he was at U of L on a visit. And he dominated Louisville starters. Yeah, IU got them a good one. Christian Lander is a solid player. Now, one of our uh, panelists on this show isn't sold on him. <clears throat> Jared. But, I, and I don't understand why, but... Um, He's pretty, he's pretty solid. IU fans are going to get a lot out of him, and he's somebody that is just, it's just he, he really does bring the whole package. He's that good. Speaking of people that bring the whole package, Toppin up with the layup over quickly. He's going to win that matchup nine times out of ten. And that one time he doesn't, probably going to be a foul. Hagens checks back in for the Cats. Drives on Toppin, and he's fouled by Obi Toppin. Goes up with the first, and he hits it. This has been a very odd anomaly of a team for many Kentucky fans as Hagens misses the second. Not a particularly strong three-point shooting team. Better than they were at the uh, beginning of the year by, by far. But uh, free throw-wise, one of Cal's best teams, if not Cal's best free throw shooting team at Kentucky. Funny enough. Funny how that works. Is Sestina with another block on Shannon and another block. The shot clock violation. Nate Sestina. God, I really. There are two guys I was I would have loved to have seen in March. Tyrese Maxey and Nate Sestina. Those were my two favorite players to see in March. Quickly would have been up there, but like I knew quickly, like because he's he'd already played 
last year. As Sestina goes up with the ill-advised pass to Montgomery. Montgomery goes up and he's fouled for the end one. That's three on Obi Toppin. But, oh my gosh, Tyrese Maxey is, is, Tyrese Maxey is one of the best big game players I've ever seen. And I'm not, that's not a hyperbole. He's one of the best at the college level I've ever seen. And that's in one year. Like, dude just, he would have some games where it was like, God, Tyrese looks terrible. And then just show up out of the Michigan State, Louisville, uh, Florida even. Well, even Florida, I don't think he had that great of a game. Auburn. And puts up the jumper and gets it to go. That's much needed for the Flyers. Higgins out to Maxi. Maxi tries to drive, puts it out to Sestina, doesn't go up with it. Out to Maxi, the open three. That away, Tyrese. UK double digit lead, 39 to 28. Crutcher out to Shimonga. Shimonga with the baby hook gets it to go after over Ashton Hagens. And UK is going to take a timeout here. Got ourselves a heck of a ball game right now. An upset alert as four seeded Kentucky leads Dayton 39 to 30. And EJ with an ill-advised pass. Had to beat the five-second mark, but throws it away to Shimonga. Watson drives on quickly. <laughs> she loses it. Shimonga picks it up. Ten left on the shot clock. Out to Toppin. Watson drives with five left on the shot clock. Has to throw one up. Passes out the models. And they beat it. Oh, it's in and out. Keon drives out to a cutting quickly, and he's fouled. Almost got it to go. UK already in the bonus. Quickly hits the first. And gets the second to go. Watson with the three. Much needed for the Flyers. With a smooth stroke. Forty-one thirty-three. Keon cuts. Can't get it to go. Nick Richards does not go back up with it. Resets Montgomery. Put, trying to put Johnson in the blender. Out to Hagens. Keon Brooks with the pick. Hagen's drive loses it. They say it's Dayton Ball. 11.9 left to go on the shot clock. Or in the game clock. Watson has to pick it up. Out to Matos. Out to Cohill. Over Hagen's for three. No good. In and out. As UK... Up on the Flyers, 41-33. to 33. And we still have depressed Kenny Smith. It's actually kind of sad watching Kenny Smith all depressed. And folks, before everyone starts freaking out saying this is not a, you know, an entirely big upset, let's keep in mind that UK is the four seed here and Dayton is the one. And plus Dayton did, you know, go 29-2 and two and not lose to Tennessee at home this year on senior day. But hey, it's all good. Yep, 44, 33%. I don't think you need a degree to know which one's going to win you the ball game.
be interesting to see if Dayton can get the ball more to Obi Toppin to start this half. E.B. Watson has 10 points already for the Flyers. Maxie with one on the shot clock out to Hagens for a three. Has not hit one yet today. Not much different from real life. That's the one part where a skew is going to please a lot more people over Ashton. And they get it right to top and on the first possession. Out to Hagens. Higgins out to EJ, posting him up. Puts him in the blender with the tough layup. Dayton really needs to find a way to get Obi Toppin open right here. Chapman out the free throw line. Out to Mike Sell. Landers. Two on the shot clock. Has to throw one up. Gets a layup and he beats the buzzer. Quickly at the top of the key. And he's fouled by Crutcher. They got a foul. Hagen stepped on the line, but they're going to call a foul on Chapman. Richards out to Montgomery, back to Hagen's with eight left on the shot clock. Maxie with the pull up jumper, can't get it to go. Rebound out the top, and Dayton's out and running with it. Crutcher has to pull up, has to hold out the top and at the top of the key. Lander drives, loses it, and they say it was off his leg. Cat's ball. Out to quickly at the top of the key. Quickly. Trying to get something going. He gets a three to go down. No, it comes back up. Crutcher on Richards. And Richards picks up his third. Smart play by Crutcher to get Richards up in the air on the pump fake. But he can't get the first to go. Crutcher with the second. Knocks this one down. 43-38. Wildcats with 7.07 left to go in the third. 17 minutes left in the game. Hagen's out to an open maxi for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Crutcher. Out to Chapman. Stays in the corner. Does not drive. Chapman out to Maxi. Out to Crutcher, I apologize. Maxi on him. Out to Landers with the three, no good. Rebound out to Nick Richards. Jazang out in front of the pack. Out to Maxi. And back to Richards. To a cutting Johnny Jazang at the top of the key. Ten left on the shot clock. Richards sets a pick on Jazang's left, drives the left elbow. Nothing out to Montgomery, back out to Hagen just to beat the buzzer. He does, but it can't get the shot to go. Landers out and running with it for the Flyers. Jazang stops him, tries to keep him in front of him, and he does. Out to Crutcher. Landers out to Toppin. Chapman 
with the open mid-range. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Richards. Looked like he was being held there, but the refs say play on. Out to Jazang for a three. No good. Ooh, Mike Sell snatches it away from Nick Richards. Out to Chapman. Chapman loses it, but he picks it back up. Out to a cutting Mike Sell with the and one. Jazang let him in front. Two-point game as Mike Sell hits the free throw. Kentucky up 43-41. And what so far has been a TNS, TNS classic, possibly. And I say that because not much has happened on my watch while we've been doing this. As Stina goes up with the layup. Can't get it to go. Puts it back up with the tough, tough grad transfer-esque layup. Just kidding. Extends this lead back out to a two-possession ball game for Kentucky. Evie Watson drives, easy pull-up, mid-range, can't get it to go. Sustina blocks off Toppin for the rebound. Jazang drives out to Nick Richards. Nick Richards tries to get something going with the tough right hand, can't get it to go. Rebound out to Sustina with the putback. Nate Sustina. This is exactly why, in real life, I don't know if Sustina would be doing this, but... He definitely would be bringing the energy right now. And I, I actually do miss that. Keon cuts off Landers at the top of the key. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Landers tries to go at it again. He does. Has to pick up his dribble. Throws one up. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Nick Richards for the Cats. Maxi out to a cutting Sestina. Landers at the top of the key. Jazang thought he had it, but Motto got a three off, could not hit it. Jazang out at the free throw line. Picks it up. The layup can't get it to go, but Evie Watson picks up the foul. Johnny Jazang at the line for the Cats. Jazang misses the first. Obi Toppin on the bench for the Flyers. Anthony Grant, interesting decision. Cohill trying to get something going on Maxie. Cannot out to Johnson who gets it back to Watson. Watson out to Cohill at the top of the key on Maxie. He's got throwing up with one on the shot clock. He does. And he gets it to go. Cohill with ice in his veins. Little Bobby Drake, the Iceman. If anybody understands X-Men, I appreciate you for knowing that reference. As Maxie loses it, Dayton out running with it. Out to a cutting Cohill who can't get it to go. And Richards with the tough rebound. UK out and running now. Jazang tries to get something going. Jazang drives. Doesn't put up a shot now. Puts up the jumper. Little layup jumper hybrid and gets it to go. Jazang put up some productive minutes in the Florida game. The season finale. He's been putting up some up today. Speaking of putting things up, Watson puts up a three and can't get it to go. Keon out to Tyrese Maxey for the Cats. Out to Johnny Jazang. Jazang out to Nick Richards. Out to Maxey for three. He got it! Cats up 53-44 to on the Flyers in what would be a, would be a major upset, but it would for sure be an upset. 
Juan Matos out to Johnson. Two Watts. He's going to take the open three. He calls match. UK takes a timeout. And we have the, I, I don't know if that's the same Anthony's dance team, but close enough, I guess. We've got a back and forth right now, folks. 53 to 47 UK with 11.45 left to go in this game. Maxi tries to get something going for the Cats off the timeout. Sistina at the top of the key to Maxi for another three. No good. Topping with the rebound, and they're running. Cohill for the Flyers. Out to Mike Sell. And UK's going to come up with the steal. Keon Brooks running with it. Trying to get to the cup. He does. And the foul on OB Toppin. That's OB Toppin's fourth. And Keon hits the first. And knocks down the second. See, Watson cannot get the three to go quickly out with the rebound. I will refuse to make a pun. It's going to be tough, though. Quickly tries to drive. Does. Throws a runner up. No good. Rebound. Sustina. And that's five fouls on Obi Toppin. Oh, wow. You got to love that tournament rule six fouls, right? Wink, wink. Sestina knocks down the first and cannot get the second to go. Toppin still in the game for the Flyers. Cohill out to Toppin. Who gets it to go? Sestina drives on Johnson. And we get a foul on Johnson. Questionable call. Sestina up to the line, knocks down the first. He gets the second to go. Drive by Mike Sell. Puts up a tough layup and gets it to go over two defenders. Back to a seven point ball game. UK is going to take the final shot here, it looks like. Nate Sestina still running the point. Ashton off ball. I don't get it, but hey, whatever. Sestina with two on the shot clock. Throws up a pull up jumper. Got it! Ahead of the shot clock, Nate Sestina. What a game we've got going on, folks. What a game this has been. Does Dayton have enough in the tank to make a comeback here? Can the Cats hold on? We're about to find out that the St. Anthony's dance team is having a good old time. Watson drives, puts up a tough layup, and he's fouled by EJ, who picks up his third.
Watson steps up to the line, knocks down the first, nothing but nylon. Watson with the second gets it to go. Seven point ball game with a little under 10 to go. Kentucky leads 60 to 53 over the Dayton Flyers. Brooks out to quickly with the open three. Can't get it to go. Ashton Hagens, though, with a tough layup and the finish. What a rebound by Hagens. Exact kind of hustle that Calipari loves out of players in March. And then again, what coach doesn't? Chapman with the tough pull up mid range, can't get it to go. Rebound out to Nick Richards. Hagen's running with it. Out to quickly with the great pass and the layup. UK puts this lead to double digits over the Flyers 64 to 53. Mike Sell drives and he loses it. EJ with the with the steal out to Keon. Keon to a cutting quickly with the dunk. UK is having their way right now. 66 to 53. Kentucky. Out to Chapman at the right wing. Dayton desperately needs something to happen right here. Something good at least. Chapman. Drives. Can't get it to go. Brooks was straight up, and he's out running with it. Out to Hagens with the tough two. No good. Watson. Drives. Out to Chapman. Really need to get the ball into E.B. Watson's hands or O.B. Toppin right now. Nobody else is really doing much for the Flyers. Out to Watson in the corner. Six left on the shot clock. Gets the pick, drives on Keon Brooks, throws one up, and he's fouled. And that's Keon's first. And Watson gets the first. And while he's at it, knocks down the second. Hagen's out to Brooks. Brooks stands still with it with 10 on the shot clock. Tries to find somebody. Puts it between his legs. Drives in the dunk. Oh, me, oh, my. Keon Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Crutcher drives on Hagen's. Gets a layup to go. Can't get it. Montgomery, though, gets the rebound, and the Cats are out running. Quickly in the traffic. Somehow does not lose it. Loses it for a minute. Gets it back out to Hagens with five left on the shot clock. Hagens takes the pick. The three. Got it! Kentucky cannot miss right now. They're shooting into a wishing well. Crutcher out to Watson. Kentucky with a 16-point lead. Mike Sell, though, goes up, and he's fouled by quickly to stop the momentum. Mike Sell, they needed that one. And he knocks down the second. Seventy-one fifty-seven Kentucky, and what has been to say honestly a dominant performance would be an understatement, or actually wouldn't be an understatement. It would not be true. UK and Dayton were pretty close up until ten minutes ago, or more about four minutes ago actually. Out to EJ quickly with the three. Oh, and he got it! How many times have you seen that one from Emmanuel quickly? Beats the buzzer, and it's 74 to 57, Kentucky.
Crutcher out at the top. A little under six minutes to go in the game, and Kentucky holds a 17-point lead as Chapman trying to drive by Keon Brooks out the top, and who gets one to go? Can't get it over Richards. Rebound Richards. Out to quickly with the spin move. Out to Hagens. Hagens drives. Out to oh my gosh, that looked like Ryan Leaf. Ooh. Oh man. That that was pretty bad. Chapman though drives. Pulls up though. Crutcher for the Flyers. Toppin trying to set a pick. Crutcher is not going to use it just yet. Calls out for the ISO. Five left on the shot clock. Chapman uses the top and pick out the Crutcher with the three. No good. Rebound out to Richards. Hagen's out and running with it with another deadly pass that somehow makes it in a way. Two quickly hands, but Toppin with the steal. Dayton needed that one. They finally get it. Landers with the pull up three. No good. And the rebound out to EJ Montgomery. Maxie out to quickly for a three. No good. But the rebound for Nick Richards. And it's it looks like it was off Nick Richards' leg when he tried going back up. Kept it low. That's one of Calipari's pet peeves. And it goes off Richards' leg. Back to the Flyers. With 4.50 left in the go, UK leads in this 4-1 matchup, 74-57. to Landers drives. Nothing going for him. He's in, the, he's in the lane, gets a layup to go. Can't get to go, but a foul on Emmanuel quickly who bodied him up. Oh, but he can't get the first to go. Landers... Stalks the rim. Can't get this one to go either. Dayton not shooting particularly well from the three point or the free throw line today either. Maxi out to Hagens. Too quickly. Montgomery out to quickly. Quickly drives with the runner. No good. Top end out to Crutcher. And a pickpocket from Tyrese Maxi. Maxie out to quickly with the layup, and he gets it to go. 76-57, Kentucky, with four left to go in this game. Timeout, Flyers. Wow. If you had asked me if I saw this coming, I would say absolutely not. This one has been, this one's been a bit of an eye-opener. Player of the game for the Cats. Never thought I'd be seeing this, but it is Nate Sestina. Nate's been the absolute juggernaut on the offensive glass, too, for this game. Topping out to Crutcher. They need something here. Down 19 with a little under four to go. A comeback would be the stuff of legends here, but who better than player of the year, Obi Toppin, to do it? Toppin gets the layup to go. Maxi out to Sestina. Sestina with the, what the heck? <laughs> I know this is, you know, not real life, but a fadeaway three-pointer as Topping gets the rebound after the Nick Richards rebound. At the Landers for a contested three, no good. Rebound out to Sestina. Sorry, folks, that three just kind of made me laugh. Hagens with the pick by Sestina. He gets the roll. Sestina goes up with the uncontested layup. UK pulling away and prevailing right now. 78 to 59. Woof. Not what you would call ideal if you're a Dayton Flyers fan. Out to a cutting Chapman with the lamp. No good, but a foul on Tyrese Maxey. That puts Dayton into the bonus. The first free throw. Dayton not shooting particularly well at all from the free throw line. Chapman hits the second, though.
quickly drives with the easy layup. I don't even need to commentate it, folks. You're seeing it on the screen. But then again, what a play by 2K Sin quickly. As Crutcher drives. Out to Mike Sell. 2.15 left in the game. I'd say it's pretty safe that Kentucky will be facing Duke. Is Mike Sell, though, with the three? We'll be facing Duke in the East Elite Eight matchup. Folks, if there's ever a time to check out our show at Neutral Site Show or to check us out uh, with Hutch and Huber, our associate podcast, their, their own thing, that have been helping us out here, then this Duke-UK matchup, I'm pretty sure is the one. This is the perfect blue blood battle. Who hates each other? It's great. It's going to be a heck of a matchup. However, though, not entirely game just yet. As UK up 80-63 with 132 to go. Maxi out to Richards with 8 on the shot clock. Quickly out near the logo. Quickly drives. Has to throw up a mid-range. No good. Rebound out to Landers. Trey Landers running with it for Dayton. Doesn't use the top and pick. Landers out to Crutcher. Crutcher with a pull-up jumper. No good. Rebound out to Tyrese Maxey. Um, one minute left to go in this game. Maxey with a pull-up jumper. No good. Caught plenty of iron. Crutcher out to Landers. Landers drives with the layup. Can't get it to go. Rebound out to Ashton Hagens for Kentucky. Quickly, out to Maxi. At the top of the key, out to Hagens. Ten left on the shot clock. Out to Quickly. Four seconds left. Quickly's going to throw up a mid-range, and he got it. A little ten-footer. Eighty-two, sixty-three, Kentucky. Mike's all out to Landers with ten left in the game. The pickpocket by Quickly. And UK playing defense, David. No time left, really. We get the walk-ons to check into the game. Brendan Canada, Riley Welch, EJ. Well, EJ is not a walk-on. Xander Payne and Dante Allen, who still would not play. But, folks, keep your eye on Dante Allen next year for the record. He's really going to be good. And Riley Welch is going to dribble it out as the Cats are still dancing. 82-63. In a minor upset, as Kentucky has to be pleased with that performance. And on the other hand, Dayton going home. Let's look at the box score. E.B. Watson with 17 points. Obi Toppin with a 14-point double-double. 13 rebounds. Mike Sell with 13. And on the other side for Kentucky, Emmanuel quickly with a very quiet 20 points, actually. Nate Sestina, 15-9. Maxi Keon Brooks with 10 each folks we've got an elite eight matchup with kentucky and duke on the way should be very very exciting stuff coming up soon if you haven't checked us out like i said check us out at neutral site show capital n capital s capital s check out at hutch and huber both capital h's uh if i didn't say it, we're a big heads media podcast very happy with everything going on right now with this 2k sim we put a lot of effort into it we're very happy to see uh, the turnout from you guys that we're getting. Uh, we'll be back with more content. If you haven't checked out our older stuff, go back to our channel and Hutch and Huber. We'll have all of the uh, other bracket sins. We've got every game so far up. Uh, some shockers, too. So until then, stay safe with everything going on. Hopefully we're filling that void going on with you right now with sports. Trust me, we have it, too. <laughs> so hopefully everything's going well with everyone. Thank you so much for your time tuning in on this Saturday. Have a happy Easter. Stay safe, stay neutral, and we will see you all soon. Take care.